Hello, welcome to another Gary's Mod Stargate tutorial. This one's going to be about a few more MISC devices that I forgot to mention last time. Alright, so, one, the ship's hangar, which is rather large. Two, MCD, um, the mouth, and, where's the last one? Alright, oh, and the Lantean Hollow. Oh, wait, and the CFD. Okay, so, what this does, uh, I'm going to start on the left, because... No, on the left. Okay, so for some reason there is this really crappy looking button on the outside, but whatever, it works. Um, so anyway, you go inside here, and it's a giant gray room. There's a button here which you can use to close the doors, like so. Um, so you go in here, and then the only thing it really is this console, so naturally that is where you would go. Um, you go to this console, so then you can... This arrow, so you can just sort of change what ship you're going to spawn with this arrow. It, the, I, I've, I've, in my experience, this thing has crashed before. A uh, lock hanger is like, like locking it so that things can't get in, I believe. Um, so when you click spawn, sometimes it's a little, like, not as good in terms of crashing. Um, but that's only happened once, and it's probably been fixed by now, so you probably don't have to worry about that. Uh, anyway, so pretty much you just spawn ships, then you can use these ships just as you would normally. If I can get into it, like usual. Uh, okay, whatever. I can't get into it, but it works. Um, so that's pretty much the ship hanger. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's move that. Alright. Now the mouth. Uh, yeah, it's the next one. Okay. So, if you have a mouth, then you should also probably have a mouth remote. So when you left click with the mouth, mouth remote, um, you start to control the mouth. And what you do is, is you do A to turn it left, D to turn it right, W to make you go forwards, S to make you go backwards. Um, that's And then you right click to stop controlling it. And that's pretty much what you do with a mouth. Um, right, yeah. Alright, so sorry about the little, little break there. Okay, so next we have the CFD, or call forwarding device, which is what they called it in the show. Although I'm pretty sure that's not what Anubis would have called it. Um, but regardless, let's spawn a Stargate. Uh, I'm gonna use a Universe Stargate because they look so freaking cool. Um, and they spin! Alright, uh, I like the Universe DHD actually, even though it's probably kind of unrealistic, because they, they, they wouldn't have really had these. I'm not gonna use the DHD, I'm gonna use the Kino Remote. Alright. Oh, yeah, also, um, I don't know exactly when this happened, but um, now everything has an automatic address, so you can just dial it like this. Okay, so if I take this device, this here device, okay, and then I just sort of, um, let's see, stick it on there, alright, ah, yes, so, okay, so I spent a couple seconds here trying to figure out why it wasn't working, and then I realized I didn't turn it on, um, right, so, you have to press the on, and then whenever somebody dials the gate, dial this gate really quickly. Um, and then when you do this, it will dial it, so it'll, it'll look like it goes through. But if you don't turn the thing off, then you have to, then you just come out the same gate you went in. It doesn't actually forward it to another gate, even if you have other gates on the map. I don't, but even if you did, um, so this unlock code thing is if you look at its wires and stuff. There is an unlock code input, so if you put in the correct unlock code, I believe it will turn off. I've never actually done it before, but I see no reason why that would not be the case. So, yeah, put in the right code, it'll turn off. Good luck. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how that one works. I'm going to remove these now. And, and that, and, and that. Okay. Um, now, the Lantean Hollow. This is a really simple piece of technology. There is not a whole lot of effort that goes into using this. Um, oh, whoops. There, there, there's actually a little bit of effort. No, I'm kidding. Okay, you just step on, you get this map, and then you step off, and you don't have the map. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, uh, that's what it does. Alright, anyway. This thing is pretty cool. It's also potentially game-breaking if you forget about it, because it's like really good and stuff. Uh, I actually haven't banned mine, so that's weird. Um, anyway, so what you do is you go up here, you press the use button, and then you look at these things and you're like, well, I can make a ZPM. So if you click create, 
it will start to create a ZPM. You can see right now it's not a very high percent, so I'll be right back once it finishes. But pretty much you go up there, you click create, and then you get a free ZPM. Okay, I'm back, and it has produced a ZPM, which is now fully functional and can be used to power things, which I will quickly demonstrate here. Uh, let's just, I'm just gonna spawn a battery because those are good for things. Okay, so when I link it up, you'll notice it has full power and the ZPM, or let's see, yep, full power. All right, so that's how that one works. And then there's one more that I forgot to spawn earlier, so um, maybe I'll add an annotation. Maybe I won't, I don't know. Um, so then this is the Stargate Iris computer, which is a very useful piece of technology. So I'm gonna use Atlantis gates, not, not universe gates, because it would look weird to have an iris or shield on a universe gate, so spawn these okay and then i'm going to add a shield to one of them actually i'm going to use it just use an iris because it's easier to see um let's see wait is this the actual iris no this is the actual iris that's the 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 not iris thing no that's the not iris thing just kidding okay um right so there's the iris and now i'm going to spawn an iris computer so to do this you spawn it and then you like smack it against the thing now when you press use on it, there's an iris code and then a description. So there's an auto close, which means as soon as the thing comes in, you can also press to to toggle iris and it'll open it and close it. Um, so, then, so then if you click auto close, whenever there's an incoming connection, it will just close the iris automatically. Um, which you probably want. Uh, don't auto open, this means even if it receives the correct code, it will not open it. Um, and this is the amount of time that will stay open after it's the correct code is closed, sent. So you said to like three, then it'll stay open for three seconds. Said to zero, it'll just stay open forever. Uh, you probably don't want this to be checked because it's better. Um, iris code. So uh, this could be anything. I'm just gonna mash my keyboard here. Okay. Um, description. Uh, you don't need one. To Okay, apparently you do need one. All right. Well, anyway, when you click save, now if you go dial in from this thing, so it's going to make sure all those settings are right while that's dialing there. I'm um, pretty sure they are. Let's see, auto close, don't auto open. Well, you know, what? I'll demonstrate it. So I open it. Actually, it, it might, might not close since I just. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, it did close. I wasn't sure if it was going to close since I just opened it while it was doing that and all that jazz. Um, so, so to use this, you want to use the Stargate GDO. Which, if you, so what you right click it, and then you set this code. God, I don't even remember what I set it to. It was like 51682, maybe? 51879, whatever. Alright, so when you come over to this gate, and then you do 51879, save and exit, then you click, then you left click, and he'll like mash on the keys and clearly not press the right buttons. And then the GDO bracelet thing will tell you that the iris is open, so you walk through, and it is in fact open. So that's how the iris computer works, which is pretty useful if you're like, you know, in a place and you don't want people to get in, you don't want to be constantly micromanaging that. That is pretty useful. Um, yeah, so I believe that is all the MISC devices that I'm going to talk about for now. Um, actually, no, Arthur's Mantle. This is fairly simple. So pretty much all you do is you press on it, and then you are now invisible to everybody. They can't see you. I'm not sure if this works on a PC, so I'm gonna just go quickly test it out here. Yes. Okay, um, and you can, the only way to, to actually tell that you're invisible is by, if you're not invisible, there will be no text there. If you are invisible, there will be text there. Um, and you just press use to activate and switch between modes. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching and goodbye.